517,000. Welcome back to Squawk Box. ADP reporting that March payrolls in the private sector rising by 517,000, revising up February to 176 from 117. That still keeps it below where it was in February. Here are the details. Uh, the estimate, a touch below the estimate, uh, not as high as some of the, the uh, uh, con- pr- forecasts on the street for really big numbers coming in, in in March for the Friday report. Again, there's the revision. Upward goods up 80,000. Services up 437,000. All of these are good. Uh, maybe not as good as some of the optimistic forecasts on the street. And there's the non-farm payroll estimate of 675,000. This uh, would tend to drag those down or make people a little concerned about their upside uh, forecast. Moving on and looking at this, uh, interestingly, by um, uh, business size, small business up by 174,000, medium up 188,000, large 155,000. And I can tell you that inside that small business number is a good number where those uh, businesses with one to 19 employees were up 100,000. That's a sign of small business coming back. And indeed, you do really want to see that. Moving on by industry, there's one of the hardest hit sectors, uh, the leisure hospitality business coming back by 169,000. Trade transport up 92,000. Uh, unfortunately, not seeing retail there, not seeing some of the other uh, hard hit industries, but there's education up by 68,000. We could have a big rebound, by the way, on the government side because of education and some other hiring in that sector uh, that is not part of this report. Manufacturing also strong. That's been a stalwart of the rebound here so far up by 49,000. And ADP saying its report that it sees better things to come with the reopening of the economy and vaccination. So we'll see, guys. Um, ADP has been tended to be under the past six months in general. The past three months, it's been a little bit closer. It's been understating it, Andrew. So we'll see if that uh, upside surprise that we were talking about yesterday, where some guys on the street have a million jobs or more, if that holds on Friday. Uh, But right now, a good number, but maybe not as good as the optimist had forecast. Do you want to give us your the Steve Leisman forecast? Um, You know what, uh, Andrew, I have not resumed my forecasting because in this pandemic, none of the metrics that I used before make make any sense right now. I was using things like the ISM. Um, I I, I do plan to go back and see if they will start to work. I am uh, optimistic because I do like the high frequency data. Um, I think it's done a good job pointing to the upside surprises or the downside surprises in some cases. But it's been difficult because it's so new to pinpoint where the numbers would be because as we go through different parts of the season, one thing we see right now, for example, this is not a great quarter, a great time of year for hiring, but we're seeing hiring coming back. So the question is how that works with the seasonal adjustments. It's very difficult to pinpoint, but I do think there's an upside surprise possible uh, for Friday where I'll be very happy to be working and being involved in reporting the numbers on Good Friday. Okay, we will see you on uh, Friday, and let's hope it really is a very good Friday uh, when it comes to both the numbers and, of course, it is Good Friday. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.